Hey, what's up guys? So this is going to be a follow-up video to my last video where I showed you how to control a ton of digital inputs to the microcontroller using just a few pins off the microcontroller by using shift registers. Okay, so you can check that video out. I'll have a link in the description. Um, you should watch that before watching this. But the reason I'm making this video is because the example I showed in that last video wasn't really maybe the best example because if you recall you push a button and it turns an LED on you push it again and it turns it off well what if you want to sort of use this technique in like in making your own piano or something well it really doesn't work because once you push one in the other buttons don't do anything because it's it gets stuck in that while loop right so, or, or better, another example might be like, what if you wanted to make like your own keyboard? So like control, alt, delete, doesn't work because it gets stuck. So let me show you, I made a, uh, a few changes to that code, really slight changes. In fact, this demo code that I showed you in the last video is more complicated than this code, but you can do it. So this is the code. So now it's like a piano and it's all in real time and it updates fairly quickly here so you could do now the control alt delete you could play chords if it's a piano so you could do lots of things like that so let me just i just want to make this video really quickly to show you how to do that and how to change the code the circuit here is identical nothing has changed here in fact i should be playing the uh, time lapse build of this circuit because i was just reading the comments today and I noticed there was still some confusion on how to do this. And I think, I think this is probably more practical than the example in the last video. So, and I don't want to leave you guys high and dry. So let's jump over to the code now and see what I changed. Okay, so here's the code and I've labeled it shift register input to piano because that's kind of what it reminds me of. So everything's identical here. I'm going to keep going. We still use the interrupt. But instead of using the interrupt, I think a better method would be to uh, use a timer and run it in the background and call uh, uh, call an interrupt, okay, and automatic interrupt. So you could check out uh, like my video on the TLC 5940 and how to use timers and dump that in, and that would be a better way of doing it since it'll constantly pull the inputs, okay. But using the interrupt seems to work pretty good too, so. Um, but anyway, let's jump right down here. The changes are in the interrupt, and it's right here, where it's going through all eight pins, and instead of doing that goofy little bit of logic, in fact, I have it right here. So before what it was doing, it would get into here, and while it was checking all eight pins, it would flip the bit of output. So it would check to see what it was last time, and if it was a one, it would flip it to a zero. If it was not a one, then it would make it a one. Okay, so that's all it did. On the new code here, the piano code, instead of flipping the bit, all it does is it writes it one if it's high, or if, if it is high, otherwise write it zero. So if your finger's not on that button, make it a zero. Okay, and then of course the other thing you have to get rid of is you scroll down here a little bit get rid of the while loop and that's it that's the only difference to the code so anyway I just wanted to make this video real quick because yeah it can seem kind of confusing especially uh, the, the way this code is written it isn't my greatest code so hopefully that helps thanks for watching